Hello and welcome to Feeding on Jesus International, where we believe that through the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ, we can feed and nourish the hungry. The cross of the real gospel. Galatians chapter 3 verses 5 and 6. Therefore, he who supplies the Spirit to you and works miracles among you, does he do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Just as Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Amen. Beloved, we know that preaching, hearing and believing the gospel are so important because they unleash God's power to save us from every area of defeat in life. But how do we know if we are hearing the real gospel? What sets the truth gospel apart from every other gospel? To answer this question, let's go to the book of Jude. Apostle Jude tells us to contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints. Jude chapter 1 verse 3. What is the faith? Here that the church is to contend earnestly for. Beloved, when you hear the word faith, mentioned in the New Testament. It refers to justification by faith. How one is made righteous before God based solely on his faith in Christ Jesus. This is the cross of the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is why the gospel is called good news and this is what sets it apart from all the false gospels. Unfortunately, when many preach today Unfortunately, what many preach today is hardly good news because justification by faith has been subtly replaced, has been subtly replaced with justification by works. Yes, preachers may tell you that you are saved by grace through faith, but then in the same breath, they corrupt the simplicity of the gospel by saying that you stay saved or get blessed through works. You also hear about all sorts of things that you need to do for God in order to be qualified for right living. Now, right living is certainly important, but that is not the gospel. Also, right living comes by believing right in the gospel. The cross of the gospel is not right living or good works, but justification by faith. And the Apostle Jude tells us to contend earnestly for this. That term is translated from one Greek word. Means agony. In other words, it literally means to agonize for. We are to agonize for the faith. We are to fight for the truth that we are justified by faith and not works. That is the real gospel. What else does the Bible say about the gospel? We are to preach. Romans, Romans 1 70 says, For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. What is supposed to be revealed in the gospel? Not our sins. As many are found, as many are found of preaching by the righteousness of God. Only hearing about the grace of God and how we are righteous by faith in Christ will set us free from our struggles with sin, addiction, and bondage. Romans chapter 1 verse 17 also tells us that this righteousness of God that we have in Christ is revealed from faith to faith. And that is just shall, that, and that the just shall live by faith. Can you see this powerful truth? It is not the idea that once you are saved by grace through faith, you move on to works and watch your performance to maintain your salvation. Many Christians experience abundant joy when they are saved only to lose that joy quickly when they are told, now that you are saved, you need to work to Please God, in order to stay saved, 
No, beloved. It is from faith to faith to faith to faith all the way until we see Jesus face to face. This does not mean that there is no place for good works or living a holy life. These are the byproduct of living f- from faith to faith. They will be evident in your life when you live, believing that you are justified, made righteous, and blessed through faith in Christ. This is the good news that God's word exhorts us to fight for righteousness by faith in Christ alone. Amen. Share this video and bless your soul. Shalom. Amen.